Hey guys, it is Madison from Madison's Madness, of course, and today we're going to do a video on Walmart clearance. So it's a little bit new, um, something exciting. I just thought I wanted to get you a little bit into Walmart, um, introduce it a little bit, um, and I'm going to give you the five, I don't know why I held up ten, the five top tips um, of Walmart clearance for beginners they're very easy so watch this video to find out some really interesting things that you probably did not know already and they will help you get some great savings hey guys welcome to walmart clearance so another tip here in walmart is that you're going to want to go ahead and download your walmart app okay that's going to allow you to be able to scan items to see what the real price is that's one of the biggest hidden secrets of finding walmart clearance is to go ahead and download that app because half of the time the clearance prices that they put on them are incorrect they're not accurate so if you scan it more than likely it's probably going to be lower than what that clearance price is so that's a huge tip um, because a lot of times I find my clearance just by scanning things and half the time they're not even marked as clearance. So it's a lot of unknown. And that's another thing about Walmart is that you never know what you're going to find because it's always changing. It's not as black and white as Dollar General is. It's not as black and white as like going to find pennies. Like here's the item you're looking for. It's just not that black and white. You're really going to have to scan. Okay, so simply by scanning clearance, this says it's $14.30, but it's actually $4.30. So another thing is to keep your eye open at all times in Walmart because this little blender right here was just sitting on the shelf and I noticed it had a clearance sticker and it's going to be $32.30, but I went ahead and scanned it and it's only $15. All right, our next tip here is gonna be always check those Walmart clearance stickers. Now, what I mean by that is if a product has a yellow clearance sticker on it, make sure you scan that product because a lot of times the clearance sticker is wrong. Yes, it's wrong. A lot of times they just miss those markdowns and it's actually a lot cheaper. So make sure you scan those items. Now, another tip for Walmart is always check items with the clearance sticker on it. I think this goes unsaid, but don't just take the clearance price as what it is because it can be lower. Yes, a lot of times they miss things and they miss continuing to mark items down. So like this might really not be 840, it might be $3. Now, I don't think this item is, but I haven't scanned it. But just as an example, Okay, so here's a prime example of what I was talking about with the Walmart clearance. It's right here. And this one says it's $8. Well, guess how much it at? She copper grill mats for $2. That's crazy. Okay, guys. So just by scanning that little end cap right here that I showed you, this little $20 end cap, I found these cute little bloom. Their hair grows. They're $12.97 at walmart.com. And guess how much I'm getting it for? $2.00. $2 just by scanning. One quick tip about Walmart bakery items is that they will go on sale one day before their best used date. So in short, this means that if a loaf of bread is best used by, I don't know, the 11th, the final markdown is going to be on the 10th. All right, our next tip is going to be check those seasonal items. So let's say it's Christmas and you see something from Halloween, you better check it because I bet you it's a good price. So like if it's winter and you see a summer item straggling around like a pair of goggles or, you know, something swim related or just anything, make sure you scan that item because odds are it's probably a really low price and you're going to get a steal for next year. I, the One of the tips that I want to give to you is always look for seasonal items. So like right here, just in the middle of the store, there is this weather pod right here and it looks a little bit summery. And as you can see, there is a clearance sticker on it. This Halloween stuff was just kind of sitting right there and it caught my eye. This little fun decoration ended up being 28 cents. And this cute little Yoda Halloween costume is $1.28. So I mentioned a second ago that you should always check seasonal stuff. So I spotted these goggles and this 
two pack of goggles is 25 cent. 25 cent, that's crazy. Okay, our next tip is gonna be you need to go to brisseek.com. Yes, you heard me. So this is going to save you time, money, and gas. So what this is going to do is check inventory and prices. So let's say you see an item in store and it's already on clearance and you have the SKU number, the item number, all the good things. You're going to enter that in Brisseek and then it's going to show you how much it is at all the stores around you and how many they have of that. So this is going to help you immensely because it's going to save you gas from just randomly going to different Walmarts, whereas you can know what you're going for and know what that they have it and know that they have it at the price that you want it. Now, full disclosure, there are sometimes some issues with sometimes they say they have it and they don't. I mean, that's just going to happen. Uh, but it does give you a better chance at getting the best price and narrowing down your store search. Now, this is helpful because when you're deal seeking, you don't want to be wasting a lot of gas because gas is money, right? So this is really going to help you track down those deals. If you're not familiar with Brisseek, you should, there, I'm sure there are videos out there. You can look up how to use it, but it's pretty simple and it's a great tool. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope to help you figure out some things you may have not known before. If you want a video following this one with maybe five more tips, let me know in the comments if you like this video. If you want another video like this, give this a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you again for watching and have a great day or night, whatever it is for you.